So this is Tatiana. We want to introduce her because she is our brand new intern and you'll see her in today's video. She is an Olympic weightlifter and today we're going to be working on a snatch and she might have some interesting things to teach our members because uh, you're proficient in it. Cool to have her. Just want to introduce you. Introduce her so you guys know who, who she is. Guys, right where you're at, first thing, first thing we're gonna get is just 10 jumping jacks, 10 seal jacks. Here we go. gonna teach us to snatch. He's gonna run you through guys a series of activation, mobilization type exercises to prepare you for the snatch. He's also gonna show you guys some form, hopefully that, so that you can be snatching by the end of the day if you've never had before. So I'm gonna turn it over to him. He's gonna walk you guys through step by step. Cool, yeah, so what we're gonna do, like Chris said, is we're gonna go through some mobility stuff. We'll go through some stability stuff as well. And then I'm just gonna teach you guys the main positions of the snatch. Um, it is a really difficult lift to, uh, to do just because there's so many moving parts. So the first thing to nail down are gonna be your positions. So uh, first of all, for the mobility drills we're gonna do, what you usually wanna hit is gonna be your ankles. You want to get your lats and stretch out your overhead position. And then you wanna kind of open up your thoracic spine a little bit just because those are areas that are are needed in, uh, in a really high demand when you do a snatch. So I'm gonna get one, two, three. You guys are going to go with Chris, and Chris is gonna take you guys through, uh, a, what do you call it, toe elevated squat. And then the next three, one, two, three, you guys are gonna come with me on the bands. And then the next three, or sorry, the next two, one, two, you guys are gonna do cat, cam, uh, cat camels. You're gonna do 20 reps. Of each, okay? You guys both know how to do those? You don't know how? Okay, so really quickly, you're just gonna go knees, hands and knees, arch your spine, and then come back. Okay, so you'll do 20 of those. We got two sets of 10 reps, toe elevated squats. What this does is increase ankle mobility. As you see here, he doesn't have that, so that's what we're working on, right? <laughs> Time, try to sit that hips back, try to keep that chest up. I know it's tough. You need to push off that, push back a little bit more, your foot. So you're like way up here like this, come right here, just the toe. Just start right here. Now think about sinking the hips down. Drop your balls right between your heels. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Come back up, that's much better. So he's gonna be stretching out his lats and working on his overhead position. So you wanna internally rotate there. Yeah. Are you done? No, no, no. Okay, so go back to that position. You were good. Oh, okay. yep. Drop your head down in between your arms. Turn your hands in towards each other. And all you're doing is reaching. Yep. And then reach with the other arm. Cool. You can do that 10 times. This is a really good way to open up your lats, uh, open up your shoulders for your overhead position before doing a snatch. Um, so usually what I would do, I'd set myself up and I'd do 10 reaches each arm just as a way to get things, get things started before I go into all my positions for overhead. Mm -hmm. run through three positions so this is a really great way before you lift just to loosen up the ankles loosen up your hips get used to that overhead position so the first place she's going to start is with the bar close to her knees squatting down she's going to have her elbows pointing back a little bit more you notice her eyes are up okay and she's staying tight here she's not rounding over and just relaxing that bottom position she's really keeping herself nice and tense so she's gonna spend five seconds down there. The next thing she's gonna do is stand all the way up, get the bar over her head, and then hold it there for five seconds. Okay, so here what you're trying to do, you're trying to pull that bar apart, keep your shoulders active, you're not just going again in that position. Pulling that bar apart actively, keeping your shoulders strong, and your head forward through your arms. After this, she's going to squat all the way down, get her stance all set, and same thing, stay tight in this position, pull that bar apart, 
and hold that for five seconds. He's gonna run through that two times, all right? Five seconds each position. You wanna run through it once more really quick so they can see again. You can go through this back to back. So it's a warm up and it's also kind of activating your shoulders and work on your mobility too. So bottom position is right here, eyes up, elbows back, nice and tight. He's gonna stand all the way up, bar overhead, pulling apart, okay, head through. And then at the very bottom, trying to sit down as low as you can. Good. So one little thing about the overhead squat for you guys, it's not like you're doing a back squat where you're going to sit your hips back first. The first movement to start your overhead squat is going to be your knees breaking and your balls are basically going to drop right between your feet. Okay. So I'm not here sitting back. I'm here breaking at the knees and dropping straight down. Okay. So there should be a barbell at each station. Uh, grab one and let's get started. The grip is just wide enough so it's across your waistband. Yeah, always double check, especially when you're brand new, make sure it's right across. So you want to be locked here, it's right across your waistband. Even when you start just for you right now, just because your shoulders, let's, let's pull those elbows out as you do it. So look, you want to turn them out. So I want to see those every single time. You want to hold it like that. So you're drawing your shoulder blades back a little bit, all right? A little bit different than when we start pulling, but I want you this for the stability position. So go ahead and five seconds down on the ground. Here we go. So, so like I say, the, uh, elbows high, get the elbows higher, like this. Boom, yeah. Now keep your chest upright, like you have a hook underneath your sternum. Keep that back flat, yeah, perfect. Try to drop your hips, That's good. Try to keep your heels on the ground now. Try to drive your heels to the ground, heels to the ground, heels to the ground, heels to the, heels to the ground. This one too, especially this one, especially this one. Good, now let's come back up overhead, good. I mean, this is just a dynamic stretch. Good, so all the way overhead. Boom, good. Remember, same thing with your elbows, lock those out. Good, try to pull that bar apart. Like, imagine the bar being a piece of pipe and you want to bend it apart this way. Good, now I want you, like we said before, you're gonna keep your chest upright and drop your balls right between your heels here. Just sink straight down, that's all. Good, try to stay on your heels, try to stay on your heels, try to stay right there. Wherever you are comfortable, five seconds. Drop that elbow out. It's not bad, try to drive this heel down on the ground just a little bit more. Good, it's not bad, so yeah. Okay, guys, so. Okay guys, so the next part, we're going to stay on the same bar as we were at before. You're with a PVC pipe, that's cool too. We'll do it with that. So, with the snatch, uh, one of the big things about it is going to be how you pull off the ground. So we want to learn how to fully extend. A lot of times people uh, have a problem with snatching because they don't fully extend. So their hips won't fully extend, they'll finish here. Their knees won't fully extend, they'll finish kind of like here. Or their ankles won't fully extend and they're going to finish here. Okay, so what we want when we snatch is triple extension. So extension at the hips, extension at the knees, and actually more uh, dorsiflexion at the uh, ankle. So it's not triple extension, uh, but we want all those three things fully locked out to get all that power. If you guys aren't fully extending with a snatch or a clean, you're just not gonna be able to get the bar as high and you're just not gonna be able to get under it as quickly. So uh, what we're gonna learn are a few different moves here. The first one is just simply a snatch pull. 
So you're gonna start from that same position we started off with, right on your quads. I'm gonna have my elbows back, eyes up. I'm gonna pull my chest up, and then I'm gonna drive through with my hips. So I'm extending at my hips, I'm extending at my knees, and my ankles. So I'm gonna finish here. So what it'll look like, once again, from the ground, I'm just pulling up like that, okay? The next one we're gonna do is a high pull. So what that's teaching you is how to use your arms and how to pull the bar straight up. So one big problem people have is when they pull, they bounce the bar out, okay? So they bounce it off their hips, and when they go to catch it, it swings back and they lose it over their head, okay? What you actually wanna be doing is just brushing the bar with your hips and you're pulling it straight up, okay? So what that'll look like is from here, Again. Okay, so I'm just driving my elbows back and up. The third one is going to be a muscle snatch, so I'm just going to be here, and I'm just pulling that bar over my head, okay? So I'm not re-bending my knees, I'm just extending, pulling straight up, pushing my head through. Okay, so one more time, we'll do a snatch pull, we'll do a snatch high pull, okay, and we'll do... Uh, muscles now. Okay? Pretty simple. Sorry, how many of these ones? We'll do three to five of you. Yeah. Yeah. Slow one down in three motions. Yeah. So you're here, yeah. right? A little bit lower. Yeah. Why? Well, it's high like you were doing. So pull. And you're going to pull here. You're going to try to keep that bar as close to your body the entire time. The entire time. As you were saying, a lot of people lose it when they bounce it off their hips and think of the path of the bar coming way out here with weight. Boom, then it's way overhead, they're gonna fall back and lose it. So you wanna keep that bar as close to your body. So come down here, find a nice comfortable position. Oh, are you getting close? Yep, right above your knees. Right above your knees first. Okay, sink your butt. And then I want you to stand up just a little bit. Pull that bar up your thighs into your hips. And from there. Alright? There you go. Should take some reps to get used to it. I'm talking about tracking his macros. He, he wants to continue to get stronger, but he also wants to lose weight. And the best way to, to manage that would be to deal with his diet. Yeah. And uh, the first thing that we discussed is how by just keeping track of what you're eating now without really changing it at all, don't make any adjustments. Just get an idea of what you're eating right now. That's always really good and it gives you a sort of a trend towards what makes you feel good. And you then just choose an established macronutrient ratio, you know, like based on what you've been doing. If you're eating mostly fat, then maybe, I say eyes food to no eyes food, that's from Paul Check. Eyes food meaning like meats and uh, animal fats, proteins of that sort, even oils and nuts fit in your eyes category. No eyes food is all vegetable and plant life and, and grains, of course, are plant life. So you would just choose, say like, you know, you, you mostly, you, you tend to eat more fat and you feel good eating that, then just choose, hey, I'm gonna eat, 40% uh, fat or even like 50% fat but like then you start you establish a base for how you feel and how your body is changing and then you can kind of like just tweak those back just tweak it back and forth so that that would be pro that would be the most difficult but of course most challenging but of course the most efficient way for you to continue to drop weight it doesn't have to be too complicated just track what you're doing choose something See what kind of results you get, choose something else. Yeah. His overhead position is great. Um, his movements are, they're coming along. Like you can tell he's practiced this before. You can see his back stays nice and flat. And when he does get it overhead, everything is lined up really well. So the prerequisites for snatching, you really shouldn't just go into the gym and try and learn how to snatch right away without knowing how to overhead squat well. So this guy has great position in his overhead squat. He can hold it. With, uh, with confidence and strength in the bottom position. If you can do that, if you can get to a good start position, and if you can find your power position for a snatch, then I would say start learning. But before you do that, nail down your overhead squat technique, work on your mobility so you can get into a good start position and learn your power position, and then uh, everything else will kind of follow along. So uh, Kurt has never done a snatch before, and this is what we got him to do today. By no means perfect, but it is uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. So eyes up. Yep. There you go. A real
Your Life Snatch by Kurtz. Do it. I like to have my hips up high. And then from here, I squeeze it with my forearms, put it up on my lap. From here, you really want to make sure that your feet are close enough to each other, and you're close enough to the platform where you can pick it up on your chest, chain, and then uh, let it back down. Boy, so that's 157 pounds. It's the lightest one we have. So there you go. You do it and you don't do nothing. This is not good conditions for it. You're sweating your ass off, but hey, that's all right. It's real. We're in Florida. Don't think too much. Just get it on your lap. There you go. Good. You got to attack it. So, uh, Good. Yeah, give it a shot. Wow, I hope you got uh, at least you better lift that damn thing, man. I, I would hate for you guys to go home and don't lift the stove. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! There you go, good. Bring your feet together. Good. Now put, put it on your chest, pull it up to your chin. Good, let's go! Stick with it! Yeah! Nice. <laughs> hey! <laughs> No, no chalk. <laughs> wow, that was great. I'm proud of you. Thank you. That's awesome. Well, now you have to do it. Hot shot. Hot shot. Yep. Oh, Jimmy. Is that your first time? Yeah. Yep. And it's first attempt. You snatch it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. You just got to attack it. Get it on your lap first. <laughs> Good. There you go. That's it, Jimmy. Right up to your chin. Come up on your toes. No? Sure is a little slippery. You're gonna have to squeeze it right up onto your chest. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. You gotta get it right on the top of your chest. You gotta hold it there. Squeeze it there into your chest. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Good. Put it right up on your chest. Good. Hands in front of it. Yep. Squeeze it to your chest. Pull it right up to your chin. Just like that. Hands on it? Or? Yep. Just like that. You're fine. You gotta get it on your chest. You gotta squeeze it onto your chest. Yes! There we go. Hey! Yay! Very good! Very good! Wow, man. That took, that took quite a bit from you. clients for the coaching program it's really cool he came down to work with us and uh, he's strong enough to get it off the floor but he's not strong enough to lock out fully so what we've got to do is just work that top range of motion with some block pulls I just happened to use an axle bar with mine so I didn't have to use straps anymore two birds with one stone but that'll be in your next program okay, guaranteed.